What it is, y'all? It is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you today with more Damachi. Today we're going to be talking about CP levels. Now, we're going to be talking about this in a very interesting... In fact, I should go start over here because in our present box... Look, it's actually last night we got these. All these Val Bouquets. Now, these are pretty straightforward. If you've followed any of the CP levels, you already know what to do with these. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about it. Of course, there was Iris in there, too. Reading Iris at login, if you're not logging in every day, well, you've been warned about that many times. <laughs> Log in to get your Iris, guys. Do your dailies to get your Iris. There's like, what, 20, 30 Iris a day, I think, up for grabs? You'd be silly not to snag that. So, let's talk about CP lists, okay? If we go all the way down here to the bottom, I think I don't think I've increased CP on anybody yet, except maybe like one little tiny one on, uh, on stream. Um, so, Alice, Artie, and Estrella got brand new CP levels. Now... If we go into Offer Present, they use single flowers or they use the bouquets. And you can already see right out of the gate why you need to use these bouquets. It's not the end of the world if you don't utilize the bouquets. All right, but you see, utilize your bouquets. But if you if you run out of bouquets or whatever, it's not the end of the world. You'll still be able to use single flowers and um, uh, the big bouquets. Yeah, she uses single flowers and Estrella probably uses single flowers too, yeah. So it won't be the end of the world. The big bouquets will be 400 CP. The the uh, bo the vow bouquets will be uh, 500 CP. And you'll notice that the regular bouquets, the vow bouquets, I should say, are five CP to everybody else. So why am I bringing this up? Well, very simply put, let's go ahead and just get her up to uh, level 3,000 right away. Bam, bam. First of all, know how much Iris is freely obtainable right here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Just for that little tiny bit that we just did. Now, to be fair, it does drop off drastically. Like, you get a ton at the beginning, and then it starts to fall off a little bit a little further on. But you're getting this for all three of them. And, of course, not only do you have Bell's CP levels, you also have Eyes' CP levels and... Leafia's CP levels. So if we jump in here, go to character list one more time, go down to the bottom. And the, the question I often get is, do these stack? And the answer is absolutely they do. 100%. Uh, all of these stats are going to stack on these units in conglomeration. So in other words, on this one we got agility 10. We got, what, 25 more CP? Or uh, Iris? Uh, we got agility 10, dex 8. HP 50, MP 10, Strength 12, and Magic 12. And if I go over to the bell list, in fact, I can just show you live. Let's go to, I don't have her upgraded though. Unfortunately, I have not upgraded her yet. But I do have Estrella. Let's go ahead and snag her. She should be down here towards the bottom. Maybe, maybe, there she is. So here are stats. She is like level zero. So pay close attention. She's currently MP 79, physical attack 74, and health uh, 294. And of course, all those stats over here. So we could take a quick look at that and then see. Actually, your magic is probably what we're going to pay the closest attention to. But magic and physical are both 74, MP is 79, and uh, 294 for health. So let's go to the CP list under Leafia. Once again, go all the way to the bottom here. Oop, that's character list. Uh, CP list. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long to figure that one out. Probably because I'm slow. Uh, where in the heck? Oh, she's already level 12 here. Let's go to eyes. I swear I know what I'm doing. So, character list. Go all the way down to the bottom. And there's Estrella. And offer present. And of course, we're going to go ahead and give her up to level. I'm just going to give her the usual level six to get her up to through six bouquets to get her up to level 3000. Bam. We got agility 10, dex 8, HP 50. Remember those numbers. MP 10, strength 12, magic 12. So, note now we go back here into the uh, status board. We'll go find Estrella real quick. 
uh, wherever she be, there she is. And now, notice those numbers have increased. They all stack, guys. Now, no, I have not increased her. We're going to do some testing with all these units probably sometime in the next week. So, just know that they do stack, and it is very important. Now, do also, if we go in here into the event, notice that in the exchange, it does require a sum total <laughs> of 400 for each of the largest items. I can say with a fair amount of clarity that that confirms that the exchange and the uh, the exchange and the gotcha are going to be the same for both this part and part two and part three. But mark my words here: do not get lazy about your farming. Yes, 100%. You are going to basically have to have 1,200 uh, large items to upgrade all these, so you can take your time on that. But I think the gotcha pays out absolute dividends. Now, of course. As you do the gotcha, the, we already know that there's a uh, two three-star tickets up for grabs, and the draws are 50 uh, of these medals instead of the usual 100. When you get to round 15, you're going to start, you're going to get two, it looks like. It says, shows two there. Oh, okay, one. That's two three-star tickets. You're going to get one four-star ticket at round 15. After that, it'll probably just be the same, the usual hero fauna. Um, really not the end of the world, but the big thing is here, these vow bouquets. These vow bouquets are basically infinite. You are not going to have any limitations. Now, they are going to be a little on the more difficult side. There we go. Reset. We just got two more three-star tickets. Those work for the stream tonight. But the long and the short of it is just infinitely farm up these bouquets. By the end of this event, you want all three of these units to be max CP. Mark my words. It is the easiest, easiest, easiest way to max out CP on these three units. I wouldn't worry about using the bouquets on anybody else because, and hear me out, if you played this game last year, uh, during part three, we had the same thing. We had the notes for all of the uh, crossover, or to say crossover, the uh, Argonaut units. So all the notes basically did something very, very similar. That's why we a lot of us were prepared for this. So the notes were 5 CP normally, and then when you uh, apply them to whatever unit they're tied to, Alameda, Galamus, all this, that, it was 500 CP. Now, a lot of us just got them up as high as we could and then kind of walked away. I wasn't quite that intelligent at the time, but the problem is immediately after that event, they increased CP levels from 30 to 50. Now, I don't necessarily see them doing that again immediately, but I wouldn't rule it out. I would definitely say there's a high possibility that they could increase CP levels again at some point in time. If maybe it not go up to level, you know, 70 or whatever, but maybe up to level 60, 55 to 60 would be a huge, huge, huge hurdle. Those of you that are taking units from level 30 up to level 50 know what I'm talking about. The, uh, the amount of CP items it requires increases drastically, drastically. So why do I bring this up? Well, a lot of people are going to come in here and they're just going to farm up their 100 CP or their 100 bouquets of each and call it. And we're going to get some rewards and all that stuff. That's going to be fine. And then whatever you get out of the gotcha, they get out of the gotcha. They're going to use regular items for the rest of it. Mark my words, having a few extra bouquets is not going to be a bad thing even if you hold on to them for a year six months whatever at some point in time cp levels will be increased again i promise you that i don't know when nobody knows when but at some point they're going to be increased again and when that happens having those bouquets on tap will be clutch the notes we got last year have never returned at all i was really hoping we get a rerun of the event so we'd be able to do it, but we got, we got Reminiscence instead, and we're, we weren't able to get the notes. Personally, I was holding out on that. I was really hoping we'd get it. So I wouldn't rely on this rerunning again next year to get more bouquets. It's, yes, I'm telling you to over-farm the event. Over-farm the event by a huge margin. If you want a number one reason to over-farm it, Falna. Falna is completely unlimited. Uh... And, of course, the big items are in here, too. Books uh, books of Nobility, Big Bouquets, Dungeon Cakes, and all that. They're limited to 30 parts, but it's going to be worth, guys. If nothing else, 
by the end of it over farming, uh, you come down in here and you can have all your fauna like two, three thousand deep and you won't have to worry about fauna for a very, very, very long time. Personally, what I do is I grab large fauna and then I grab smelting stones. That's my go-to. But maybe you're a little bit different. Maybe you want whetstones. Uh, I am kind of drowning in whetstones at the moment, so I kind of don't do that as much. But that used to be my go-to prior to smelting stones. Problem is I run out of smelting stones now. So just pick your battles, but definitely consider getting as many of these bouquets as humanly possible. Even if you're already up to 50, uh, 50 CP on all three units by the end of this, having a stockpile of extra bouquets is not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. So that's all I wanted to talk about really with this was making sure that you guys are prepared with the information you need. Now, to be fair, like I said, the exchange and the gotcha are both going to be here for around about three months. So you have tons and tons and tons of time. That doesn't mean slack. What that means is start planning today. Farm a little bit each and every day. I know a lot of people say they don't have potato snacks. You're going to get potato snacks as you farm and as you collect. Uh, in fact, if we go here to the guild, bam, look at that. Run it daily, you get a potato snack. Earn 80 of those, you get a potato snack. We get, I still don't have the full translation on these lotto tickets, um, but I'm going to guess it has something to do with running the Australia record. So if you run the Australia record every day, you'll get those lotto tickets. It pays dividends, guys dividends so see there you go earn 110 get more potato snacks bam pretty straightforward stuff guys so let me know what you guys think of this in the comments section down below do you disagree do you think it's not worth stockpiling um and once again bear in mind you have over 90 days to do all of this well probably about just right at 90 days at this point but you have a long 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 time to do this and it pays to farm this uh hopefully and fingers crossed maybe they'll add more to the exchange uh and maybe i don't think to the gotcha but maybe they'll add more to the exchange and please reset the gotcha i don't think they will but please that'd be so good right flyer that would be the best thing ever reset the gotcha between parts oh ho, ho, ho. uh if, if you're still here at the end of this video hashtag please reset the gotcha in the comment section. That would be just so amazing. I don't think they've done it before, but come on, guys. Come on. Let me know what y'all thought down there. Like, comment, share. I'll catch you on the next one.